Hello everyone. Let's talk about our dot December drawing challenge for the month of December. So we're using dots. Okay. So I did demonstrate in class how to set your sketchbook up for this um, value scale. Um, again, most of you don't or might, I don't know, not have colored markers at home. I know you guys have a Sharpie. So they gave you one. You have two, right? So um, yes, we have this worksheet, but if you don't have different colored markers at home, you don't have to worry about these last two um, values or three value scales. So we want to grab a sheet in our sketchbook. Okay. And I just freehand drew a rectangle. I used a little ruler here. You can also trace the worksheet or do the, the, the dots on the actual worksheet. So <clears throat> I'm going to demonstrate here again. Um, I would recommend starting in the lightest. So this is your number two. So this is white. Then we move over and we put a couple dots in there, maybe four or five. Then in the next one, we do a couple more, making it look darker. Then we do some more, so on and so forth. Okay. So start out gradually because you can always go darker. Obviously you can't go lighter. So like your last square should be as dark as you can possibly get it. Now, <clears throat> I want to reiterate that we want to take our time doing this. We don't want to just kind of slam the marker down because one, that'll damage the marker. Two, that won't make nice little dots. We want cute little dots. Okay, so we want to take our time and build up the appropriate values. So at the top of our sheet, we have an example of what a 10 should look like, a nine, an eight, so on and so forth. So this is not dark enough yet, right? My dots are not dense enough to create the darkest value that I can get with this technique. So if you let your eyes go out of focus a little bit, as I've done here um, with the camera, you can see that the dots come together and create that gradient that you want to see. All right. So sometimes it's helpful to kind of let your eyes get a little bit blurry. Okay. So now that I have my value scale done, I want to work on my sphere. So we have a reference image next to it. Um, I'm going to hold it this way so you guys can see the reference image as I'm working. So this is your 10. You want to look at the curve of the shape, look at the actual shapes of the highlights. If you want to, you could kind of draw some little guidelines to help you out a little bit. But this right here is your 10, this whole little crescent that needs to be as dark as that, as the 10 on your value scale. That's the point of doing the value scales. They're a reference for us as we are creating art. Okay. So you would continue adding in your dots to get the values where they need to be to create the illusion of a 3D sphere. You don't want to forget the little cast shadow as well. So underneath is a shadow. And we'll fade it out a little bit. Again, you guys want to take your time. You want this to be nice and neat. You want these to be dots, not marks, because you were just kind of like going crazy with your marker. So it should start to look like three-dimensional sphere, the light source coming from this direction. Okay, so something like that. I don't think I'm done yet, quite done yet. I think it needs to be a little bit darker. And you want it to blend. You want a smooth transition between the values. So I'll continue working on that. Um, but I do want to show you the other option for this project.